Hello, my name is Dr Laura Walter Williams and I'm one of the Associate Deans in the School of Law Policing and Forensics and today we're in our digital law courts in for, for the final stages of one of our multidisciplinary simulation based exercises. So prior to today's trial our forensic students have been at the crime scene house uh, collecting the evidence and examining the scene and then taking that evidence back to our forensic laboratories to examine them in greater detail. Our policing students have been interviewing our victim, witnesses and suspects, um, supported by our psychology students when they've been dealing with vulnerable or specialist victims. Our criminology students have been supporting our victims and they've also been working on rehabilitation programmes for our defendants. And our law students have been examining the case and today will be acting as either the defence, the prosecution or the judge overseeing uh, the case today. So our law students will present the case and then they will cross-examine our witnesses. So our criminology, psychology, policing and forensic students will act either as expert witnesses or, evidence, uh, or provide evidence of fact, enabling our jury of students to come to a specific decision. Our computing and gaming students have built an animated walkthrough of the crime scene to enable our jury to visualise the, the scene without having to visit it. Our journalism and digital media students will use a range of different mediums to present the key facts of surrounding the case, the defendants and the witnesses and the possible outcomes. And later they will go to the TV studios and they'll film a, a live documentary of the specific issues surrounding this case. Once the trial is concluded, the jury will have deliberated and they will provide their verdict and all of the individual disciplines will get the opportunity to reflect on how their um, expertise has contributed towards the outcome. Our psychology students have actually been observing all of the individual disciplines and they will feed back, and, which will enable us to improve our pre-trial processes to increase the potential positive outcomes of, of trials. Later today, our international relations students will take part in a Model UN exercise in here alongside our law and business students. So Model UN is a simulation based exercise which enables our students to learn better how the UN works and how formal proceedings are conducted. They can also take part in Model NATO which is a similar exercise but focuses on the political, security, military and economic responses to specific critical incidences. By linking our immersive facilities together and our subject disciplines, it enables our policing students to work with our paramedic students on critical incident management. It enables our forensic students to work with our computing and engineering students on vehicle collision uh, investigations and reconstructions. And our education, biology and art students to build a set of resources to educate the public on specific science issues such as the COVID pandemic. All of these enable our students to become lifelong and life-wide learners and prepare them for the world of work. 